On the day of your treatment, you will need to make sure that you have everything ready to take with you, including items such as a comb or clips to aid with your hair preparation. We would also recommend packing other items to keep you comfortable during the day, such as a blanket, snacks, water, and items that will help as a distraction, such as a book, tablet, and headphones. When you arrive at your treatment facility, check in, and then your clinical team will take you through to the treatment area or individual room where there will be a scalp cooling system. Your clinical team will likely give you some information on what to expect during the day with your chemotherapy treatment and allow you to settle in. Your treatment will last for a few hours, so we would recommend wearing comfortable, layered, warm clothing. While your clinical team is getting ready for your treatment, take the time to ensure your cold cap is ready ahead of preparing your hair and putting the cap on. For the hair preparation process, you will need conditioner, a spray bottle, and a method of forehead protection, such as a stretchy headband. See our hints and tips how-to video for more information on this. Fill your spray bottle with water as you will use this to dampen your hair. Our how-to videos will guide you through the hair preparation process. There are different ways to prepare your hair depending on your hair type. No matter your hair type, the hair that will be under the cap will need to be dampened with conditioner applied to ensure the cap is easy to remove after treatment. This is a process that can be done either by yourself or by someone assisting you, such as a friend or loved one. Ensure the hair at the scalp is damp, but it doesn't need to be drenched. Once your hair preparation is complete, put on the headband or whatever you have chosen for forehead protection during scalp cooling. You are now ready to put on your cap. Your clinician may put the cap on for you, but we would always recommend that you become familiar with the process using our how-to videos. It may be possible to have assistance from a friend or loved one when putting on the cap. Speak with your clinical team for more information. Taking ownership of putting the cap on is important as no one will be more invested in getting a better cap fit than you are. Now you are ready for your scalp cooling and chemotherapy treatment. Visit the bathroom before you start your treatment as it won't be possible to disconnect from the system in the first pre-cooling stage of treatment. Make sure you are seated comfortably before your treatment begins. There will be three cooling stages during scalp cooling. Pre-infusion cooling, infusion cooling and post-infusion cooling. While the timing of these stages will vary, the temperature of your cold cap will be consistent throughout. One of your clinical team will attach your cap to the system to commence your scalp cooling treatment and start the pre-infusion cooling stage. This is a period of either 30 minutes or 45 minutes if you have thick hair. This stage reduces the temperature of your scalp before any chemotherapy drugs are administered. You may also be given pre-meds by your clinical team during this time. The first 15 minutes of scalp cooling can be challenging. You are likely to feel the cold. However, this feeling will not last for the full treatment and your body will acclimatize. During these 15 minutes, distraction techniques can be helpful, such as talking with a friend, reading, listening to music, deep breathing, or having a hot drink. Once the pre-cooling 30 or 45 minutes has passed, one of your clinical team will begin administering your chemotherapy drugs. Please note that your chemotherapy drugs may not be ready at this point. This is not a problem, as while your cap is attached to the system, it will continue to cool your scalp. Once your drugs are being administered, you will move to the infusion stage of cooling, which will last as long as it takes for the chemotherapy drugs to be infused. Scalp cooling may feel less cold as you progress through the treatment. This isn't because the temperature of the system has changed, but because you are getting used to the cold. You will be able to take bathroom breaks if needed during the infusion and post-infusion cooling stages. One of your clinical team will disconnect you from the system for a maximum of 10 minutes at a time. The system will alert at eight minutes to remind your clinical team and your cap should be reconnected to the system as soon as you return. Once all alopecia causing chemotherapy drugs are infused, you will be moved on to the post-infusion cooling stage by one of your clinical team. This stage will last for 90 minutes for all combination regimens and the majority of single agent regimens. For more information on post-cooling times, speak with your clinical team. Once the post-infusion cooling stage is finished, your treatment is complete. One of your clinical team will disconnect your cap from the system. 
You may now loosen the bungee cords and remove the chin strap, but do not remove the cap or cover yet. Allow the cap to warm up for around 10 minutes before removing it. If the cap feels like it is sticking to your hair when you try to remove it, wait a little longer before trying again. Once the cap is removed, you will need to stay seated for an additional 5 to 10 minutes to acclimatise further. If you have loose braids or twists from your hair preparation process, you can remove these now or when you get home. Your hair will likely still be damp. If you have ice crystals on your hair, these will melt quickly. Ensure you bring a hat or something to cover your wet and conditioned hair to keep you warm on the way home. When you return home, you will likely feel very tired. Ensure that you remove any loose braids or twists if applicable and rinse the conditioner used for hair preparation out of your hair within 24 hours of your treatment. You can access advice on how to care for your hair during scalp cooling treatment in the hair care section of coldcap.com.